the water that's escaping from here, the vapors, okay? Um, so let's pop this off real quick. All you gotta do, if you got a battery like this, you just uh, get up in there. All right, y'all, welcome back to Philly D's Garage. So I got a quick one for y'all today, and I brought my lights with me, so I got the lights ready. So we got some light. So we're going to focus right now on the battery uh, real quick. So I had the, uh, the Honda Accord in the building. So I take up the battery post, and I see this. So you guys can see that pretty clear. Um, that is mad corrosion, all right? So this is no bueno. Um, if you ever see this on your battery, clean it fast, okay? Or just replace your battery because it's no good. Um, now... The funny thing is, to be honest with you, I've seen this a little while back, like probably over a month ago, but I totally forgot about it. And the reason why I didn't fix it at that time was because I was like, you know what? I'm gonna show these guys in the video um, of why you need to do battery maintenance. And I honestly forgot about it myself. So here I am again with the car in the garage. So I figured I'd show you guys uh, what's going on. So um, as you can see, it's that's plenty plenty of corrosion right there um so first i'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean it off all right and then i'm gonna let you guys know pretty much of what can cause it so real quick i boil some water there's so many different ways that you can take care of this issue um but i'm just gonna show you guys with some straight water now, it was boiling, but it's not boiling now, but it was, trust me. So, they say you can use Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Fanta, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, they say you can use it. Um, you don't really have to uh, go that far, like, because if you want to, it don't matter what you use, whether it's soda, straight water, whatever it is, you got to pay for it, right? You got to pay for water also, but... Straight water is probably the easiest way, the cheap, cheapest way to get rid of your corrosion. So, um, I'm going to pour this hot water over this and just show you guys how easy it is to clean this corrosion off. All right. Now, I got battery cleaner. I got all types of stuff to clean this off. But I just wanted to share with you guys of how you can clean it off. So, we're just going to pour this bowl in water. Y'all can see it's still steaming. I'm going to pour it over that just to show you guys. Ugh. Oh, snaps. Don't worry about the water now. now as y'all can see, it's pretty much just on the positive side. So I'm going to show you that in a second. All right. Ugh. Look at that. That pretty much took off all that. Okay. Now, obviously, I can go further and take this connector off and get up inside of this uh, terminal and clean this terminal out. Um, so that'd be a further step, but if you want a quick fix, here you go. Just use some hot water. Uh, get my garage floor all wet. Now I only got a little bit left, so I'm just going to throw it on here anyway, just because. Ugh, ugh. There you go. All right. So that was all the hot water. So I just wanted to show you guys that all you need is hot water to clean that off. Um, now as y'all can see, this is a Honda, but it has a Toyota battery in it. Um, so that was in there when I bought the car and that was over four years ago now. So I'm surprised that it's still starting, to be honest with you. Um, and it says it has a warranty on it, but uh, I think that's over. Um, and what's funny is I had went to test it. Honestly, I, I just, I had the car in, the, in, in my garage, so I figured I'd put the maintainer on it, test it, see how the battery is doing. I do that for every car. So I tried to hook this up and it wouldn't even, uh, it wouldn't even turn this on because it was so much corrosion on there. And I meant to show you guys that 
before I try it again. So I'm just gonna try it again real quick and see. I already got the negative plugged up. Put the positive on. And look, it turned right on. So I wish I would have showed y'all that before I just did that. But since I plugged it up, let's test it real quick. So it's supposed to be 575 cold cranking amps. I probably can't see that, but I literally only went to test this battery and it turned into this video. So, all right. So it tested okay. So it's saying 480 cold cranking amps, six, uh, 6 6.4 resistance, 100% state of charge, state of health, 83%. That's not bad for a battery that's potentially over five years old. Cause like I said, I've had this car for over four years and I don't see a sticker on here that's showing me the oh man showing me the date so and it's a Toyota battery so this battery is put in at a Toyota dealer probably obviously before I bought it because I've I've never replaced this battery um so the battery tested good so while it's in here I'm gonna throw this on so it could just maintain my battery while it's in here. I'll do that. I do that for every car. So I'm going to show you guys. This is like an older style battery where um, you can fill these up with uh, distilled water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this off because this side was full of uh, corrosion. This side had no corrosion. So I really don't have to worry about taking it off. I will just to look in there. But this one, I'm going to pop off real quick. And... Uh, show you guys why that corrosion built up more than likely it's because of the uh the uh the water that's escaping from here the vapors okay um so let's pop this off real quick all you gotta do if you got a battery like this you just uh, get up in there pop this off don't be scared, it ain't gonna bite you. Now, if you look down in there, I can see from here, you might not be able to tell, but this hole right here has more water in it than both of these, all right? So, I don't have any distilled water right now, so I'm not gonna be able to fill it up. I just wanted to show you guys what you can do if you was having the same issue. So basically, because these ports are depleting uh, the distilled water, um, that's basically because the vapors from in here is escaping out and it's building up on your uh, your terminals. Um, so that's pretty much what's going on. Um, so if you fill these back up with some distilled water, um, more than likely, you will revive your battery. Then you can take a maintainer like this and which will obviously assist you in reviving your battery. So when you fill it up, just fill it up to the to the bottom of these ports and then close it back up. All right. Now newer batteries like AGM batteries, uh, they won't have this. So you won't be able to just pop these up um, so let's just pop this up and just just to see in here. Yeah, see these are much higher. These are high, I can see from here. I don't know if y'all can see, but I can tell you right now these ports are higher than the ports on this side. So, but I'm gonna get some distilled water, fill them up. Um, I might just re. I might just replace the battery. I don't know. If I do, you guys will see that video. But until then, you know, you can try this. Um, and sometimes these batteries can be over two, three hundred dollars. So I'll tell you one thing, this is way cheaper than buying a battery. Um, so yeah, so like I said, if y'all wanna get deeper, y'all can take this off and uh 
clean inside the terminals. Um, you can do that. Make sure those are closed. Um, did I? I think yeah, I tested this battery. But before I did this clean, this would not turn on. This this would not turn on at all. So we did something good. Maintain your battery because the last thing you want to do is come out of the crib and your battery, your car will not start. I'm telling you, on your way to work, that is the worst time for your battery or your car not to start. The other worst time is when you're leaving work and you're trying to go home <laughs> and your car won't start. So trust me, peek under your hood, see if you see any of that crusty stuff. Clean it off, hot water, whatever the case may be, baking soda. They got a million different ways that they tell you that you could clean your battery terminals. But really, the cheapest way is just, I don't even know. I mean, because it could be water. It could just be a wire brush. But you just want to get that corrosion off because it will cause resistance within your battery. Um, so another thing you could do is put some uh, dielectric grease on here. So uh, the vapors, because like I was saying earlier, the vapors will come from out of here and it will seep up right here between the terminal and the battery case where they meet up at right down here. It, there's a sill right there. So over time, it would just seep up through that sill and, you know, it'll build up as corrosion. So this battery is pretty old I, I don't know the car the funny thing is this car starts with no problem at all like this car starts perfectly fine um that's the weird thing so i never had an issue out of this battery um but still it could have been at the worst time that this battery didn't work and i would have wished that i changed this battery or, or at least cleaned it you know at a sooner date um so now what I'm going to do is, while it's in here, I put it on a maintainer just so it can, uh, I don't really have to rebuild the battery because it's it's not dead or nothing. I'm just going to maintain it. It'll sit here. It'll charge it up, you know, until it's full and it'll just sit there overnight. So I just do that as a little extra precaution whenever I got a car in here, so... But um, yeah, man, look, I don't care what kind of car you got. It could be a bike, it could be a car, it could be a truck, it could be whatever it is. If it has a battery on it, check your battery, get all the little crusties off because it can prevent your car from starting. It could prevent all types of stuff from working on your car because this, this is literally the brain of your car. Like this is the heart of your car that engine will not turn over without this battery well you can turn it over all right mechanically you could turn it over but you need a battery to start your car and drive all right so just keep that in mind so whenever you under your hood just take a peek at your battery and make sure it's good as y'all can see this battery is almost already up to the green where basically there you go It'll be full and it's automatically charging my 12 volt battery because this thing recognizes numerous types of batteries. So that's, I don't even have to leave that on there. I could probably take it off, but she good to go. This battery is crazy good. Like, but um, yeah, um, if I helped you guys in this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment below, and I'll catch you on the next one.